Okay, so we are starting question 4 to represent part 4. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, we have question 4, which is just the continuation of where we ended. So let's go. So question 4a, you receive a message 17 that was sent using RSA public encryption key 21,5 of the example in, in this section. Decode this to find the original numeric number 10 marks. So basically, this was our quiz 2 for 2023 uh, year 1 cryptography. This was our quiz 2. So watch out, it, it might also be a quiz by Mr. Chiara. So uh, let's analyze something here. Remember, for this uh, question, you need to uh, come up with the alphabet which uh, with its corresponding numbers we said previously. So let's do that first. Okay, so as you can see, each letter corresponds to its respective number. So if they are saying you receive a message 17, it means that 17 uh, is a letter which is where is 17, which is Q. So it's more like you receive a message which is Q, and now this message which is Q uh, was sent. So it was sent using this uh, RSA public encryption key. So let's analyze some data first here. So we have Q, which is equal to 17. Then we have this RSA uh, public encryption key. Public encryption key. Like that. So this RSA, RSA public encryption key, they are saying it's 21, comma, Five. Okay, so what you need to understand if they say uh, 21 comma 25 This what you are seeing in the brackets We have what we call since they are saying encryption key. So encryption not decryption. It's n comma e for encryption so n uh, Is just a number which is used uh, when encrypting certain information using this RIA, RSA encryption key. Then E is the encryption key used, which was 5. So, based on this data, based on this information, it means that our N is equal to 21. Then our E is equal to 5 based on that. Okay, now we have this information. The question goes on to say decode this to find the original numeric uh, message. So, first thing you need to do when you're given such a question is that you need to understand how did they come up with N. So, the formula for N is P, uh, P times Q. Like that p times q so n we know it's 21 so we need to ask ourselves which numbers can we multiply to give us 21 because we know that n is 21 so we can have 7 times 3 that to give us 21 so if n uh, if our n is 21 in this case it will mean that our p is equal to 7 and our q is equal to 3 based on that i hope you understand now since we have that information again we need to come up with uh, m so m is also necessary when encrypting and decrypting using rsa so the formula for m is p minus 1 like that then times q minus one no wonder we had to know uh, the values of p and q before finding m 
So since our p is 7, so we say minus 1, then times our q is 3, then minus 1, you close the bracket, then 7 minus 1, we get 6, then times 3 minus 1, we get 2. Okay, so now we have 6 times 2, which is 12. Okay, so now at least we have some information which is need we needed for us to encrypt and decrypt. Remember, this message is already encrypted, so we need to decrypt it. So, before we go in, any further, we need to understand that we need to list prime numbers which are less than n. And I explain what are prime numbers. So, today we'll be just listing. So, now these prime numbers which are less than n, our n is 21. So, we can have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, just like that. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So those are our prime numbers. Okay, now, based on this information we have, we know the value for n, the value for e, the value for... P, the value of, uh, for Q, the value of M, we just need to find the value of D. Now, D will be the decryption key since E is the encryption key. So, to find D, we need to say ED minus 1 divided by M, but it has a condition. This must uh, give you a remainder of 0. A remainder of 0. So, what we mean is that once you compute everything using this formula, you need to get your whole number, meaning its remainder is zero. So, like for example, the answer is supposed to be either four as a whole number, not four point something. It means that it's not a remainder of zero. Okay, so let's compute uh, something in our formula. We know that our e is five, so we say five where there is e, and then times d, so we don't know, I'll leave it blank minus 1 then we divide by m so our m is 12 based on our, our calculations now we need to start replacing these prime numbers uh in this space where we are supposed to represent d so i will say let me open up my calculator first before we, we proceed Okay, so now we need to start testing those prime numbers on uh, each and every value we have. Chew, chew, chew. Okay, so here's my calculator now. Okay, so we have five, so I'll say five. Then here we need to replace with the first prime number to test, so which is 2. So it will be times 2 to represent D here where there's supposed to be D. You get your answer, then you say minus, which is this, 1. Then you divide by 12, uh, which is M. So as you can see, this answer is not your number. Therefore, 2 cannot be our D. So, I'll go to 3 now. So, we have 5. I'll say 5. Then times. Uh, here, we're supposed to replace it with 3 to represent our D. Like that. Then we say minus 1. 
minus 1. Then last 3 we divide by 2 of which is m. So again, if it's not your number, it's not our d. So as you can see, that's not your number. We go to 5, which is 5 there. So we have now 5, which is this, times 5, which, which would represent d. So we are getting 25, then minus 1, like that. We get 24, then we divide by 12, which is our m. So let's divide by 12. So we are getting 2. So 2 is the whole number. Here we placed 5 for us to come up with that answer. So we had 5 times 5, which was 24 minus 1, then divide by 12. So 24, uh, oh, 25, not 24, but 25. So 25 minus 1, we had 24. Then we divide by 12, which, which was 2. So therefore, our D is equals to 5. Because we used 5 from these prime numbers to uh, compute this answer. So now we have our all the values we need, including D. So, uh, in the previous example or question, we were encrypting something. We were encrypting something. So, you saw the formula for encrypting. Now, we are talking about decrypting. So, the formula to decrypt now is like this. Okay. So, since we are decrypting, we need to understand that we want to get the plain text. So under RISA, the plain text is represented by the letter M to represent actual message. So M is equals to uh, the cipher text we are trying to decrypt. C for the cipher text, then power D for decrypting, power D for decrypting, then more D, N like that so that would be our formula m is the actual message we want to get then c is the cipher which was 17 in our case so 17 was the cipher or i mean i may say q was the cipher and then power d which we have found as five so we are trying to decrypt this with the modulus of n which is into one according to that information so after we do that it means that we will come up with our plain text which is m the actual message so let's do this using a calculator now okay so uh, we have 17 power 5 so we get this number, then mod 21. So for us to find the mod for this number, it's more like we need this number, then divide by 12, that's the first step. So this number will be divided by 12. Okay, after dividing it by 12, We'll just get this part, maybe two decimal places because we cannot write everything using our pins. So now we have that answer. Now this answer, we only consider this one, this one number, not the point, the dots, because modulus we are trying to find the remainder. That's the goal. So now we have that. We need to multiply this number now by its denominator so the denominator as you can see it was a 12 or oh, not 12 why am i doing 12 <laughs> sorry sorry so our um, our um, n is 21 not 12 sorry 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 okay so we had this number after we said 
17 to the power 5. So we had this answer. Then we had to say divide by 21, not 12, because n is our 21 is our n. So now we have this answer. So I'll repeat the same things I was trying to explain. Just get maybe two decimal places. Like that. And then we have that. Now we need to consider its own number. And then we multiply by its denominator, which is 21. So I will say we have 67. Six one two times twenty one, which is this now. So I'll copy this and then paste. Okay, so now here we need to get this first answer we had after uh, using its power and then paste it there then we subtract it from this new answer we have here so if you do that you will realize that this part from here up to here which is that and this are the same so it's more like we have 7 minus 2 which is giving us 5 and if we encrypt uh, 5 based on our, um, if we look for 5 which has been decrypted based on our uh, alphabet, it's E. So therefore, when we decrypt Q, we are supposed to get E using that RSA public decryption key, which is D. So that's the answer, guys. So... I won't repeat this because it's just some procedures for encrypting and decrypting but different formulas. So now let's go to question B. <clears throat> so B, it says if Dre is the key, use columnar transposition to decrypt the message. So this is our first time doing this on this channel. We will take our time. So. One thing you need to understand is that we have this key which is Dre like that. Then this key, um, we need to understand one thing. How many characters do, does it have? Like what's the length? How many characters does it uh, does it have? So if we count it Dre, we have one, two, three, four. So we have four characters. So since we have four characters, uh, this is uh, part of the block ciphers, and I explained about block ciphers. So we need to get that key, which is S, uh, not key, but the cipher text from the question. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so we have that cipher text uh, from the question. Cipher. We have that cipher text from the question. Now, we need to understand if we have uh, that key with four characters and we have this. How many characters do we have now? for this cipher text so we need to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we have sixteen characters now you need to understand one thing about matrices so uh what can be the matrix for this with four characters and 16 characters so the best thing to think about this is that you target the cipher text which numbers can i multiply to get the number of characters for that uh, 
same cipher text so we have four by four so if we say four times four it means we'll be getting 16. so let's start trying out this one four by four so it means we need to divide this uh print text into how many blocks four blocks so we will be having four blocks like that one two three and then four like that so i'll get these first four letters then put them into the first block then i'll get these four second characters put them into the second block then i'll get these four eight characters then uh paste them into the third block then last three i'll get these last four characters these four last characters then paste them into the last block so if you can see we have this block which is one two three four but if we count we are getting 16. so it means this matrix has uh, uh, fit into this um situation now we need to use this key which is dre to come up with um a best sequence for these blocks so we need to list out the alphabet first from a up to z a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z like that so uh, from our um, dre we can see that which letter is coming first in the alphabet so we have a which is part of dre it's there so here we have a which is part of dre is coming first and then let's look for other letters which is coming area before the other so b there's no b on dre c no c d we have d so d is coming number two from this key then we have e which is correct it's coming number three we don't have f we don't have g we don't have h i j k l m n o p q r so we have r which is which will be coming number four so based on this information which letter is coming first to the alphabet for the key dre we need to distribute them to our uh, blocks so as you can see this one will go will represent a because a is coming first then this one will represent d because d is the second this will represent e because e is the third and finally this will represent r because r is the fourth okay now that we have this information we can now decode our message so this is how we do it <clears throat> We have the actual key which is dre like that dre so that was our key then following the sequence d is number two then r is four e is three and one is a is one like that so now we need to because they are saying column not transposition column so these are rows going in this direction then columns go downwards like that so for d which is this we need to bring them down like this so we have i then we bring it down we have t f then q from that um d then we have these for four so we have this for four which is for other we have t like that then we have i from other which is this then we have o and finally we have u 
from this which is r now we go to um our e we go to our e so the first thing in e as we can see we have i so we say i then we come down we have m again you come down then you have r last three we have i like that I. then let's do for a so under a as you can see we have s so you bring it down we have e bring it down we have a and then last three you bring it down we have z okay. so as you can see a four by four has fit now we just need to read these so as you can see this is it so you say it space then this is is so here you say is space then this is time so you say time space and this is four so you say four space and this is a so here we say we say a and this last one is quiz so we say quiz okay so as you can see we have officially decrypted this message which is saying it is time for a quiz so now you need to understand that this was given to us as our pass to go out of class if you didn't solve this correctly you are going to stay uh, in class for about maybe almost three hours so so basically us who like eating we're supposed to decrypt it very fast so yeah that's it guys so uh, as promised we said this video cover um, from part one up to part four but i feel like uh, also diving into question five so that we can complete this whole paper so uh we'll do question 5a because uh question b is just uh, basically something which is simple and i don't like talking too much unless i'm doing something which is sensitive so question five will be covered if i'm if I'm, i might lie I, I i might try to do not try but if i want i might also do b it's just that i'm busy for this already but i'm trying my best to give you the content you need to help you uh, with your first year or third year ict students so this is soko james representing cyber security tutorials uh thank you for watching make sure to subscribe recommend this channel to your friends so that you answer your tests quiz and assignments or exam papers so on see you in in the next video which is part five or we might start uh, a, a new paper which is test two so watch out for that